What's up, guys? Paul Churchill here with the Recovery Elevator Podcast. I want to talk to you all about the void left by alcohol when we quit drinking. Now, I didn't know I was aware of this concept or I was either filling the void or not filling the void, but when I first got sober in 2010, for two and a half years, there's a huge void left by alcohol that I wasn't filling. And our January book of the month was actually a Recovery by Russell Brand. And he talks about it early in the book. And I remember listening to it on the audio version and it was just a huge value bomb. I think he said something like, in order for us to be successful in sobriety, we must fill the void left by alcohol. Like I just mentioned, I was sober for two and a half years from 2010, 2012 and a half, and I was not filling the void. I was looking at sobriety as pure subtraction and not addition, right? And that is not how it needs to be. In fact, that's not what it is. So if we don't fill this void, number one, we're staying sober on willpower. Willpower is a muscle up here, which is finite. It's eventually going to exhaust itself, which I experienced. And that process of exhausting the willpower is, is absolutely tiring. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired at the end of that, and I drank. Um, and the other thing is if you're not filling the void, you're looking at sobriety as a sacrifice and not an opportunity. And that's how I looked at sobriety for the first two and a half years that I was sacrificing, that I was always missing out on something, which wasn't the case. You know, the real alcohol is shit. It's pure poison. It's not, you're not missing out on anything. A life without alcohol is a tremendous sacrifice. And the third thing that you're doing when you're not filling the void left by alcohol is you're a dry drunk. What is a dry drunk? Well, if you're watching this video in, in hopes of bolstering your recovery portfolio, recovery program, then that's something that a dry drunk wouldn't do. A dry drunk is somebody that wouldn't attend a recovery elevator treat in Dallas, which we just had two weeks ago and was freaking awesome. Highly encourage you to go to one of these things if you can in the future. Um, yeah, a dry drunk just rolls through life um, basically with a bubble, just like deflecting all of these things coming in. And the unconscious mind can take a beating from magazines, from movies, from TV, from cell phones, from social media, from freaking Snapchat. If you're on that thing, that is brutal trying to stay sober in Snapchat. Um, and that is being a dry drunk. That's what I was. I didn't really know what it was. I never even heard of the concept. Um, but this time around in sobriety, like I said, I didn't really, I wasn't really aware of this concept but I filled the void left by alcohol. And, you know, and what void are we filling? Well, there's so many voids left by alcohol, basically in every part of our lives. For number one, there's the social void. We are going to find ways, we have to find ways to socialize without alcohol. Sure, with others, this is like in nightlife, at dinner parties, at weddings, social events like that, but also it's important we find ways to socialize with yourself. I'm not you know, so with yourself without alcohol. I'm not sure what your drinking was like, what it is like, but I did a lot of drinking by myself and I needed to find new ways to socialize with myself, with my lovely standard poodle Ben, without alcohol. And that was hard at first. Uh, I needed to find ways to fill the void left, um, you know, when there was a stressful moment that alcohol would fill that void. You just filled the void. I, would, I was stressed, drink some alcohol. That's, that was basically, that was it. Right, and, and so my, po my coping mechanisms sucked in early sobriety. I needed to find ways to relax. I needed to find ways to have fun. Um, and, and here's the good news. Filling these voids, it doesn't have to be painful. Um, you know, I, I was stressed or I need to relax, drink some alcohol. Now I take a bubble bath and, and go on walks, watch a sunset. Oh my gosh, that's so painful. Kidding, it's not. Um, and it's essential that we find ways to get the dopamine going in the brain again, get those neurotransmitters firing again. Look, if you want to find, if you want to get into professional bass fishing, go for it. You need to find ways to to get you know the brain, those hobbies going, and and, it, and it's essential. Um, it exercise is a big thing that I've done. I did a 20 mile ridge run this last summer in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, the run itself was pretty hard, but. I really enjoyed the training process of it. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. And I'm continually adding new hobbies and crafts, just finding new ways to enjoy the sober life. Because we're at a lot more free time. Number one, the times that we're not drinking, but also the times in the morning when we're not hungover. I had hangovers that would last days. Um, 
But the most important void that we need to fill is community. It's gonna be difficult to, to successfully stay sober if you're just rolling through this thing solo. Um, I haven't met anybody who could successfully do it on the long run by themselves. It's important that you hang out with others who are not drinking, who also wanna lead a life without the poison. Um, and that's why I think 12-step programs are extremely helpful. Uh, I don't wanna use the word Kool-Aid, but uh, there is some Kool-Aid that can be consumed in 12-step rooms. Now, I got a sponsor, I've done the steps, I, I can attribute lots of my sobriety to AA, but I think the most important part is the connections you're gonna meet in, in, uh, in the 12-step programs. Um, again, I wanna be clear, I'm not, uh, I'm not bashing the program or whatnot, but that's just kind of my two cents. The most important component of that stuff, the takeaway, is the social community. So there's a huge void left by alcohol that we need to fill. It's imperative that we need to fill in order to successfully stay sober. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'll talk to you guys later.